So yesterday was Sunday. You may have found yourself on the couch idly flipping around the TV dial. And if you flipped far enough, you could have had the shock of your life. Michael Jackson was on Face the Nation. Now, to be clear, this wasn't video of Michael Jackson performing his hit songs in the 1990s. This appeared to be a living version of the international pop star that news reports claim died of a drug OD more than a dozen years ago. And yet, despite those claims, there he was, fully, undeniably Michael Jackson, talking on television. How can that be? Honestly, we have no idea. We're not theologians here. This is merely a news program. We can only show you what we saw. Here it is. There's nothing more important for us to do than protect our Constitution and our democracy. What the Republicans are doing across the country is really a a legislative continu continuation of what they did on January 6th, which is to undermine our democracy. See, Michael Jackson, that was him. No Billy Jean, apparently he's given up singing, now he's telling lies about politics. Same man. If you've ever seen Michael Jackson, you cannot forget the face. Though admittedly, he's had a lot of work done since we saw him last. I know it's seems like we're on a record and the record keeps spinning and the record needle keeps hitting the same song time and time again. The song is always Tucker Carlson's greatest clip. Tucker Carlson's greatest clip. Tucker Carlson's most savage moment. Don't miss this moment. That's actually the moment you shouldn't have missed, okay? I, I say this for all time. Every other moment will be an important moment, will be a great moment. Tucker's deeply talented, deeply wise, incredibly funny person. But Tucker Carlson comparing Nancy Pelosi to Michael Jackson because of her uh, amount of work, let's just say the amount of work she's doing, not in Congress, no, no. Those eyebrows, ladies and gentlemen, the McDonald's arches, that is the funniest setup I've ever seen on cable news. And we do cable news and we love cable news and we watch a lot of it, and we have our own show, and we do our own comedy sketches, and that is rock solid gold. Gold, it's gold. We had our own take on Nancy Pelosi's uh, high arches, let's call them, uh, it had to do with her stock trading. This is what we thought Nancy Pelosi was trying to tell America when she uh, went on TV with those bangers. Check it out. Right now. Okay, so Nancy Pelosi uh, went and took her high, 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 earnings from wanted to let the America know exactly how high her, her earnings have been from insider trading. So she went on TV this last week and showed us, she showed us exactly how high with her eyebrows uh, her, her uh, stock trading has been. This is how high her earnings have been uh, in her portfolio this year. Nancy Pelosi went on national TV in order to uh, uh, show everybody the growth chart of her portfolio. And she, uh, she did so by making sure that she uh, um, plastered a bell, like a classic bell curve uh, to the top of her head. You know, you gotta sell high. You know, you gotta, you, know, you, you, gotta, you gotta buy low. And when you buy low, you buy down around here, okay? So you buy low and then you gotta sell high. And you wanna sell high right up there. All right, so buy low, sell high. This is Nancy Pelosi showing everyone, hey, listen, you, you can do it too. You can do it too. You can make sure that that you have a great, a great stock portfolio, just like me. You can be worth $100 million. <laughs> of course you can't, actually, because you don't insider trade like I do with my husband. But you can buy low, and then you should sell right about here. And, and then make sure you don't sell right, right here, okay? Uh, sell right there, don't sell here. All right, all right? You wanna buy here, sell up here, okay? That's how I, I see. Look, I've given you, I've given you the most important lesson in insider trading and selling stocks. 